Mark Crosswood here with Golf Online answering more of your questions. Richard is asking from Facebook, what is the best way to build more swing speed or should you settle with your natural swing speed, Mark? Good question. For me, it's a case of getting people to get the most out of what they put in not building swing speed. So for instance, I'm going to hit the seven iron and my club is going to be traveling at X speed as I hit that ball. What I need to know once I struck it is am I getting the distance out of that shot compared to what I put in? If I am, then I can play. I can get the distance control with my iron. I can choose the club different winds, different slopes because I've got that precise energy coming out of the ball compared to what I put in. Now for me, I haven't taught many golfers and we're talking like 1% smaller who are maxing out what they put in. So it's literally the odd tour pro stroke pro who is doing that. And then we're going to start talking about angles of attack up or down rather than changing speed to try and get more distance. And it also introducing them to the gym and trainers who can help them get more speed through some kind of physical change and speed change in their body. Most people think they need to swing faster. Most of my students, or nearly all of them, absolutely not. What they need to do is have less deflection, so less across the ball with a face open to a path, adding loft, or ear hitting from in to out with a face closed to the path, taking loft off, which is also then going to lose distance as well through flight, might gain roll. It's about getting out what you put in. So many people look at it the wrong way and think about speed. There are so many confusing videos out there of people talking, telling you how to hit 300 yards and how to increase your club head speed. Coaches aren't doing that that I know. Go to the gym, get out what you put in is the real answer.